Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to manage the subtask in Odoo 16 project module. So let's say you are working in an IT development company and working with two projects simultaneously. Let the project A be building a website and let the project B be uh, building a mobile application. And you came to realize that the subtask of project A is similar to the subtask of project B that is building a mobile application. So instead of creating a new subtask for project B, you could transfer the subtask of project A that is from the website, you could transfer the subtask to project B. So let's check how to manage or transfer the subtask in Odoo 16 project module. So in order to manage a project, just get into the project module and here we can see different projects that have already created by Odoo. Now, let's create a new project. So we can give the name of the project as project A and click on create project so that the project will be created. Now we can add multiple stages for the project and let me give the initial stage as to do and when you click on add a line or sorry add you can see that uh, this will be moving to the next stage so let me add the second stage that is in progress and click on add and let me discard the other stage now i need to add a further task to this stage and you can click on add i mean plus icon to add the task so let the name of the task be task one and here we can set the assignees that is the person in charge of the task and it is possible to add multiple assignees so currently we have two assignees that is Mark Demo and Michelle Edmin or if you want to instantly create a new assignee it is possible to create it from here. And here we can see two buttons that is add and edit. Add button is used to add next task and edit button is used to make changes for the existing or the current task. So I need to make changes for the uh, existing task. So let me click on edit button. So here we can see the task name that we have given and to which project does that belong to. And if you want to check the progress or the status of the uh, project or task, it is possible to set the milestone. And we can also uh, set the assignee, sale order item, deadline. So let me choose the deadline. And we can also set tags for filtration purposes. And if you want to add a field uh, or if you need to set new field for this task, it is possible to set by using add a property. So let me set the uh, field as phone number. So whenever you're creating a new field, you need to set the field type. So let me set it as uh, integer. So here you can see the default value. So we can see that a new field is created. And if you want to add any description uh, for this task, you can give the description over here. So let me give task one uh, be the name of the task that is the description I'm going to give and here we can also set the extra informations like we can set the um, sequence emails easy and we can also set the cover image and we can see the assigning dates as well as last stage updated now let me save the uh, task okay now when you back to the project a here you can see that we have created one task and uh, if you want to set the priority, you can click on the uh, star field so that you can set the priority. And currently we have 27 days left uh, to complete the deadline. So we have 27 days more to complete the task. And here we can see uh, the status. Currently this is in, in progress. And if a task is ready, you can just click on ready so that it 
will be indicated in green color and if you have blocked the task then it will be indicated in red color so currently this is in in progress and if you want to make any other changes you can uh, also set the cover image as well as you can share this and uh, uh, if you want to set the uh, highlightness of the task you can set the colors over here and let me click on edit so that we can uh, make further changes so if you want to add sub task for a task it is possible from the configuration settings uh, now you can enable the sub task which allow you to split your task so let me save the changes so as you have enabled the sub task you can see uh, under the project you can uh, i mean you can choose the task you can see a sub task is enabled now if you want to add the sub task uh, for the parent task it is possible to add so let me uh, create new task so currently we don't have any sub task under project a so let me create a new sub task let it be sub task one and you can choose a project and let me save and create another one so let it be subtask 2 and yeah you can choose a project and let me save and close this so currently we have added two subtask for the parent task so when you back to the project here you can see that we have added two subtask and which is under task 1 and you can see you can also manage all those subtasks individually as a task. So, if you want to add subtask again for the subtask that we have created, if you want to add subtask for the created subtask, you can click on view task, and here we can see a field of subtask. And you can click on add a line, and uh, if you want to add this, you can add that. Or if you want to create new one, let me create another task that is subtask uh, A. Subtask 1 A. And you can choose a project. And let me save and close this. So when you back to the project, you can see that the number of tasks under the main task or under the parent task is changed into three. And under the subtask, we can see that we have another subtask also. Okay, so uh, whenever you are adding subtask for another subtask, that will be performing uh, as like of loop. Now we can also manage or like we can transfer the task from one project to another project so let's check that let's say you work for a software development company and you have two projects going on simultaneously one project is to develop a website for a client and the other one uh, is to create a mobile application for another client and you have realized that a task assigned to your team in the website project actually belongs to the mobile application project so instead of creating a new task in the mobile application project, you want to transfer the task from the pro website project to the mobile application project. So to keep everything organized. So let's create new uh, project that is a uh, website. So we have created a new uh, project website and we also need to create another uh, project that is mobile application. Okay, so we have created two projects that is website and mobile application. So now let's create uh, the website icon. So first we need to create a stage for this. 
so let me create to do as the initial uh, stage and you can click on add so currently I'm only creating one stage and let me create a new uh, yeah task so let the name of the task be image and you can set the assignees and click on edit button now we can manage the subtask for this so we need to create icon banner everything so let me create subtask for this so let the name of the subtask be logo or icon logo for the website so you can choose website as the project and uh, yeah let me set the deadline now you can create another uh, subtask that is banner and you can choose the project that is website so we are creating two subtask under the project website now let me set the deadline and let me save and close this so when you back to the website you can see that we have created uh, two projects I mean, uh, we have created two projects that is website and the mobile application. And under the project website, we have created a uh, subtask. Uh, so here you can see uh, all the subtask as well as the tasks that we have created. Now we need to transfer the uh, logo of website to the mobile application because uh, we have got a task which is very similar. So now let's back to the project and let me choose the mobile application that is a project and let me create a new stage that is uh, yeah to do okay now here you can give the task name as uh, same as that of we have uh, created let it be image itself and can set the assignee so let the assignee be Mark Demo and uh, Michelle Admin and click on edit and here we have subtask so we can uh, click on add a line and let me remove the filtration because currently we don't have any subtask under mobile application so when you remove the filtration, you can view all the tasks that we have created over here. So let me uh, search for, yeah, here we can see logo and banner. So uh, I want to transfer the logo of the project website to the project mobile application. So if you want to add multiple uh, or if you want to uh, transfer multiple uh, subtasks, it is possible to transfer. So currently I'm only transferring one subtask that is uh, from website project. I'm transferring logo that is the subtask we are transferring and you can select that task. And here uh, we can see that the task is currently transferred and let me click on save. So when you back to the mobile application, we can see that one subtask is added under uh, the task image for the project mobile application now let me back to the project and when you back to the uh, website here you can see that as we have transferred the project from one project to another project that is logo we have transferred currently we have only one subtask that is banner so whenever you transfer one project to another project the subtask won't be available in both projects. It will be available in the transferred project. So hope the concept of subtask management is clear for you. Thank you for watching the video.